All right, good day, students. And today is another day the Lord has given to us. We'll be looking at comprehension. Comprehension, JHS2. Comprehension. Good in English. The page is 119. Comprehension. And the topic for today's lesson is I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. And in the good in English, we'll be looking at page 119 in the good English I can't be bothered I can't be bothered now let's come to comprehension we say that by the end of the lesson we'll be able to read fluently and pronounce words appropriately by the end of the lesson students will be able to read fluently and pronounce words appropriately and build some vocabularies we will build some vocabularies in our sentences. So in the sentence, as saying, I can't be bothered, we have some few vocabularies that we are going to look at, only three vocabularies, and we have delicious, excited, and alarmed. These are the three vocabularies that we'll be looking in the sentences or in the comprehension sentences. So delicious, when we say delicious, we mean very nice to taste and we say excited also happy or interested and we say aligned either either worried or frightened either worried or frightened so these are a few vocabularies that we will see in the comprehension exercises or in the comprehension the topic is i can't be bothered i can't be bothered and the page let me remind you page 119 that is in the golden english and let me read few questions here in the comprehension exercises. Kweku Asari and his wife, Dakwa, lived in a small village. They were farmers. They grew cash crops like cocoa and oil palm. I'll take the sentence again. You can see that these are the sentences written. These are the sentences. These are the sentences. These are the sentences written. These are actually the sentences written. These are the sentences written in the comprehension. Kweko Asari and his wife, Dakwa, lived in a small village. They were farmers. They grew cash crops like cocoa and oil palm. Now, how do we answer this question? We are going to look at the question very carefully. Then we'll look at one of the questions in the comprehension exercises. It goes like this. What cash crops did Asari and his wife grow? What cash crops did Asari and his wife grow? You can see in the passage, it says, Kweku Asari and his wife, Dakwa, lived in a small village. They were farmers. And the third sentence says, they grew cash crops like cocoa and oil palm. Like cocoa and oil palm. So our question also says, what cash crops did Asari and his wife grow? So the answer will be, you are going to base on the passage. The answer is in the passage. So in comprehension, when you're answering compression questions, what you do is that you read the passage very well. We read the passage very well. Make sure that you understand the passage you have read or you are reading. You read the first passage and you don't understand. Reread the passage the second time. If the second time you don't get it, then the third time be patient enough and make sure you read it to the extent that you understand it. So when you read the passage and you get understanding clear, then you come to the question, then you compare the question to the passage you have read. So here I have read my passage very well. So I'm going to compare the question here I have with the passage which I have read. And I will see if the answer is in the passage which I have read. If the answer is not in the passage which I have read, then I have to reread the passage so that I'll get my correct answer for the question under comprehension. So as I've read the passage here, and the question, the question says, what cash crops did 
did Asari and his wife grow? His wife grew. So this is the question. I will relate the question to the passage and check if my answer is in the passage. Of course, my answer is in the passage. And the answer being in the passage starts from this side. They grew cash crops like cocoa and oil palm. So what I'll do is that I'm not going to repeat the questions being asked in the question, but I'm going to give my answer by using a pronoun and the other answers necessary. So I'll say they grew cocoa and oil palm. That will be my answer. So you can see that this answer is found in the passage. That is the so I'll come the grew cocoa and oil palm. Because the question was asked in the past, did <clears throat> because the question was asked in the past, what cash crops did? So I use my past verb, I'll say they grew cocoa and oil palm. These are a few examples of unscreened comprehension questions. The topic is I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. So you are to read this Golden English page 119. You are to read all. So when you finish reading, we have some certain questions under, which very soon we will see it in our assignment. So these are a few comprehension exercises under I can't be bothered in Golden English page 119. Page 119, JHS2. I can't be bothered. So when you get this particular video, you check page 119, the question and the passage, everything is there. Then very soon we'll come with the assignment. God richly bless you for having a nice time with me. Bye.